Hello everyone and Hello everyone and welcome to an Arduino tutorial on controlling LCD displays. Today's lesson um, is uh, going to be the 10th lesson in the Ultimate Arduino Beginners Guide series. And because we are just over halfway through, I highly recommend going back to some other projects and doing the challenges. Um, and if you don't want to do that because it's a bit boring, make your own projects up that use some of the skills we've done in earlier projects. So for example, if you wanted to recap the knowledge from the project where we did an LEG traffic light system, you could make your own one for a crossroad situation where you had uh, four sets of traffic lights facing each other that interact with one another, or something like that. So today, uh, you will need an Arduino or clone, a breadboard, jumper wires, potentiometer, and an LCD display that's 2x16 or higher. That's all you'll need for today, just a bit of basic equipment. You will be okay with the Arduino Uno or higher. Okay. So, you need to wire up your components. Um, the um, first pin on your screen needs to be wired to uh, ground your second pin needs to be wired to 5 volts your third pin needs to be wired to the middle pin of your potentiometer your fourth needs to be wired to digital your fifth needs to be wired to ground your sixth needs to be wired to uh, another digital pin then you skip four and then your next four are all wired to digital pins. Your second to last is wired to 5 volts. And your last is wired to ground. Now, it's very useful to remember that. Simply because it's hassle having to get wiring diagrams up, diagrams up every single time you uh, want to wire your LCD screen. So, just to uh, recap, Ground 5 volt, potentiometer, digital ground, digital, skip 4, 4 digital, uh, 220 ohm resistor to 5 volts, and ground. Okay, now um, to access the code we're using today, go to your Arduino, um, just open up your Arduino, press File in the top left corner, uh, then click. Um, then click on your uh, void. I'm, I'm being, I'm being fricky. Sorry. Right, click file, examples, liquid crystal, and then uh, click on whatever skill we are learning currently. And then you can upload it to your board and see it yourself. Right. So let's set up the LCD screen. I'm going to talk you through the code that you'll need to know. So this code is the same every time you set up your liquid crystal display. And there's three parts. The first part is to include the liquid crystal display. Hashtag include liquidcrystal.h. So that's fairly simple. Uh, now, basically, that's just liquidcrystal.h is the library code. So, it, it, what's what makes liquid crystal displays possible on Arduino? You need to include it at the start of every project that involves an LCD. Then, we state which pins the LCD screen is attached to. So, or in other words, initialize the library with the numbers of the interface. So liquid crystal LCD 12, 11, 5, 4, 3, and 2. Now you have wired up your LCD to the uh, pins on your board 12, 11, 5, 4, 3, and 2. So basically you're just declaring what pins it's attached to. If you'd wired it to 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, you'd say liquid crystal LCD 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then the LCD bit is just the um don't have to describe it the lcd bit is just a name that you give to uh the screen uh, that has got the pins 12 11 5 4 3 2. you could call it anything you could call it jellyfish you could call it hamburger you could call it a uh, microphone you could call it anything but giving it an appropriate name makes it easier and if you had multiple LCD screens, you could say LCD1, LCD2, LCD3, etc. Okay, then, the third step is to state how big the screen is. And we do this in a void setup loop, and we say LCD.begin, and then in brackets, state how big the screen is. So, the one that I'm using is a 16 by 2 so you put LCD.begin, 16, 2 
But if you wanted, if you were using a 20 by 4, you'd say lcd.begin24. Um, so that's basically how I set it up. First, include the liquid crystal library. Second, you state which pins the LCD screen is attached to. And third, you state how big the screen actually is by using the lcd.begin. So, to set the, um, we set the screen up, now we're going to look at the main thing that you do with liquid crystal displays, which is lcd.print. lcd.print will just print something onto the screen. So here we've done lcd.print hello world. So it's just going to print onto the screen hello world. So you do lcd.print, you start a set of brackets, you start a set of, um, what's it called, speech marks, you put in your message, you close the speech marks, you close the brackets, and you put a colon as you do at the end of every statement. So that's lcd.print for you. Okay, now take a look at the LCD screen on the um, video. Um, as you can see, I've uh, put four coordinates on. Uh, 0, 0, 16, 0, 0, 1, and 16, 1. Notice how, um, you know, the coordinates match the squares. Now, the first row on the LCD screen is 0. The second row is 1. The third row is 2. And the fourth row is 3. Now, um, when you... When you're setting the cursor, you need to say, if you're referring to the first row, however many across, and then naught. If you're referring to the second row, one. Third row, two. Fourth row, three. So after the comma, you need to put, um, after you've put the comma, you need to put what row it's on. Before the co comma, you put what column it's on. So the one to the top right is 16 naught. So 16 nook is 16 nook because it's 16 across and it's on the first row which is naught. So then let's have a look at the code. It's simply lcd.setCursor naught 1. So we've set the cursor to the second row. And it's just going to start at the, uh, the first box on the second row and it's going to say how are you today. And that is how it will look. Notice how uh, I've actually made it shorter. Uh, no, so I've made the code longer than the screen is. The screen's shorter than the line of code. And I've made that deliberately to reiterate that you need to always make sure that you're not going over. You need to always make sure that you are keeping to the limits of the screen. Now let's take a look at lcd.clear. Now lcd.clear is very, very basic. All it does is wipe whatever's on the screen for the next piece of writing that you want to put on it. It just wipes anything on the screen, stops it, clears it, like so, and there will be nothing on the screen. Now we're getting more complicated. Now we're looking at lcd.blink. Now lcd.blink will blink the box after, um, it'll blink the box after you've last written a piece of text, and it'll just go blink, no blink, blink, no blink, and it'll just fill in that box. And I'll show you with the example now. So, um, you can see it's just blinking on and off. Okay, now lcd.cursor is very similar. It'll turn the cursor off and it'll turn the cursor on. It's pretty much exactly the same, except from instead of filling in the whole box, it'll just fill in the little bit of cur the little cursor at the bottom, just a little bit at the bottom rather than the full box like so, and I'm just going to show you this little demonstration. Okay, so let's just recap what we've done so far. We have done lcd.print, lcd.setCursor, lcd.clear, lcd.blink, and lcd.cursor. Now we're having a look at something called Serial Display. Now Serial.display is kind of a project in its own right. Um, what it does is, it's a little project where you can write something in the serial monitor, press enter, and it'll go to the screen. Now, the serial monitor, um, serial monitor is a way of you communicating to your Arduino board from your computer. It's in the top right corner of your um, screen. Uh, well, the top right corner of your IDE, more like. 
and you press on it, you enter the text, then you press enter and it'll go onto your LCD screen. Now let's have a little look at the code. The first thing you do when you're using a serial display is you say serial.begin9600. Now I could go into detail about why it's 9600, but I'm not going to because I don't need to. It's just the standard rate of communication between your computer and your board. Okay. Uh, then you put you um, put the uh, line of code in your void loop if serial dot available. So if the serial is available, delay 100. So wait for the entire message to arrive. Clear the screen, and then read all the available characters. So while serial dot available are more than naught, so there's something there. Display each character to the LCD. So LCD dot write serial dot read. So it's just going to read. Just going to write on the LCD whatever um, is read on the serial monitor, so whatever you've put. Okay, now we're getting to near the end now. Now this is one of the most important things, more important than blink and cursor. LCD.display. Now what LCD.display does is it turns the display on and turns the display off. So LCD.no display will wipe out whatever's on the screen, and LCD.display will just display whatever code you've written like if you've written hello world it'll flash on and off with hello world on the screen and if you change the time of the delay thing in the loop it will change how it, how long it'll flash on and off like how long it'll stay on before it goes off again in this little example now it flashes on and off okay now this uh, bit is text direction. Now what text direction is, is it just changes the direction as you go on. Now this example now shows you uh, what it does basically. So it goes A, then it'll put B on, then it'll put C on, then it'll put D on, then it'll do E, and it'll go until it gets to M. And then when it gets to M it'll change it back round, and it'll go from right to left. Okay? So that's what text direction does. So let's have a little look. Into, now we've made an integer variable, this character equals a. Now we have start, we have said lc.cursor, so we've initialized the cursor. Okay. So we've said this, if this character equals m, lcd.right to left. Now that's the main thing. Then if character is uh, if this character equals s, lcd left to right. So it basically changes the character. Uh, the direction that it's printing the characters on the screen. Okay. Uh, so LCD dot left to right, LCD dot right to left. Now let's have a look at text scroll. Now what this does is scrolls the um, text on the screen uh, from right to left. Okay. Now the first bit uh, scrolls uh, the screen 13 positions to the left. So 4 int position counter equals 0, position counter is more than 15, position counter plus plus. And then we come to the main part, scroll 1, position left, and this is the main thing you need to remember, lcd.scroll display left, and then you wait for a bit. And then you scroll at 29 positions to the right, so for int position counter equals 0, position counter is more than 29, position counter plus plus. And then the next, uh, this well, the next important thing, lcd.scroll display right. So for text scroll, there's two main parts, lcd.scroll display left and lcd.scroll display right. Okay, let's recap what we've done. We've gone over lcd.print, lcd.blink, lcd.set cursor, lcd.clear, lcd.cursor, serial display, lcd.display, text direction and finally text scroll okay now I want you to write a single piece of code for an LCD screen which uses all of the below so it uses lcd.print, lcd.blink, lcd.cursor, lcd.set cursor, lcd.clear, LCD serial display, text scroll, text direction and lcd.display you might not be able to include all of them in but hopefully you'll be able to include at least quite a few of them in. Uh, if you aren't be able to do that, go back to the video and look at some of the things we've been over. Uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. 
And next time we're going to be uh, doing a project with an LCD screen.